In Southern California, scuba divers enjoy diving in forests of giant kelp called macrocystis. Macrocystis is a large brown algae that can reach 150 feet tall. In optimal conditions, it has the ability to grow as much as two feet per day. While diving in an underwater forest of macrocystis can be fun, many divers do not realize that there is another common brown algae that can be fun to dive in as well. It is a forest of egregia, also known as the feather boa kelp. As a single strand resembles a feather boa that you might have seen Elton John wear around his neck in his glory days. While feather boa kelp grows from Alaska to Baja, this particular forest of feather boa kelp is found in La Jolla Cove in San Diego. Feather boa kelp does not grow as tall as the giant kelp as it may only reach 15 to 20 feet long. Like the giant kelp, it has little air bladders or pneumatocysts that keep it suspended in the water column. In optimal conditions, feather boa kelp can grow into dense underwater forests. The fun part of the dive is navigating down the natural corridors that wind through the forest. As feather boas are meant to do, they want to wrap around your body and get you entangled. Using good global awareness and buoyancy control techniques, the challenge for the diver is to move along without getting hung up. Here is my dive buddy, my daughter, Kristen, taking in the beauty and the tranquility of it all. Along the way, we stop to observe the chorus line of California spiny lobster. The brave ones venture out of their shelter far enough to say hello. Do you think that they know that they are protected here? As we leave the feather boas behind and make our way towards our exit point, we travel over rocks covered with red coral and algae. Here the orange Garibaldis stand watch to make sure that we have not taken anything along the way. The next time you see someone wearing a feather boa, I hope that you'll remember the egregia growing underwater in Southern California. Mm -hmm.